and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team with you guys, and today we're gonna be going over the market. So obviously, I'm pretty excited to go over it today because there is multiple things that are in packs, multiple things from the Series 3 update that is greatly changing the landscape that I'm excited about because I'm trying to get my coin stack right up as soon as possible because there is a few things that I do want right now. So with the new limited time Redux cards finally in packs for the Series 3, that means I can finally afford all those good cards that EA locks away from us every series because they want to make them limited time cards that like 99% of the community can't afford. So now I can get guys like Le'Veon Bell, but specifically who I want is Aaron Donald, Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, George Kittle. Those are the guys I need on my team. I have all the power. I have every single one of those guys powered up. I have Kittle, Donald, Dion, and Moss all powered up to their highest power up waiting for these cards. So I gotta go get that. So I'm gonna go over all the Redux on the market, go over a few of the lower things, but I'm not gonna stay there too long, obviously, because I do want to focus more on the Redux and the higher overall cards today, because that is kind of what's out in packs and what's gonna be coming out. Now, I don't know what the odds are on these Redux pulls. I have seen quite a few on the auction block, but they are crazy priced. It, it was kind of irritating me yesterday because the Redux were going for more than limited time, which I find really stupid. I know people made like a pack, like, all right, everyone who pulls the Redux, like, so let's all sell them like limited time cards so that they can't go down to value. I don't really know, but it's kind of stupid because I'd much rather have the limited time card than the Redux if it is the price. But besides the point, it is kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. Hopefully, that the market forces them to come down at some point. And don't forget, guys, at level 70, you do get a free Redux player. So you will be able to get a Redux pack, and that will guarantee you. Hopefully anything other than Philip Rivers. So if I get Philip Rivers, I'll be quite upset. But I gotta start grinding to level 70. I'm gonna start that problem today. Had a busy day yesterday. Videos, some Halloween party, school, you know, the usual. But let's head over to the market and go check this out, guys. Before we do, make sure you're gonna go down and head down below to go hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on the noti bell, come join the family. I appreciate each and every one of you that turn that noti bell on and come out each and every every day. Like truthfully, it's amazing how many of you guys come right when I post. I love every, each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's not too late to jump join. And comment down below what you guys think of the Redux cards. Are you guys excited for them? I'm personally very hyped for them. I just hope they go down value a bit more. And uh, give this video a big like, give it a big thumbs up. I need a haircut. I know guys getting a little crazy. You guys, I mean, you ought to be able to see it on camera, but this is really, really long. Like you don't, it's, it's kind of bad at this point. I just take getting haircuts. My haircut takes like an hour and a half with the fade and the beard and everything. It takes way too long, but give this video a big thumbs up. If this video gets 250 likes, I'll get a haircut. There you go. You know, that's a new like goal right there. That's going to be it. But let's go down below. Let's get down into the thing. So 80 to 81s, obviously these are going, this landscape is destroyed. Seven carat there, but that just shows you. If there's a seven K one there with 39 minutes left, it's even cheaper. I'm not even going to filter it, but guys, this landscape has been destroyed by 80 overall most here cards, 80 overall mud heroes, 80 overall base leads. It's destroyed. When are we getting an insane Cooper Cup? I don't know when that day will come, but I've been waiting for some insane Cooper Cup for quite a while. But it is what it is. Only the best. He's only one of the best wide receivers in the league, but it's all good. 82 to 83. 12K. Yeah, I don't really care for these cards. It's, it's just too, it's too overpopulated to even care. That's what happens every year. There's a few overalls that you get so overpopulated. Oh, thank you, Reggie Ragland. I will take that all day. Quick little 4K right there. Now I can afford my Redux cards. All right, so back to what I was saying. 84s. I'm gonna go up a little bit. This is this is boring stuff. It really is. I can't even do. This. It was in the beginning of the year. It was fun to go 81 all the way up, but now it's just it's just boring stuff. No one cares. 21k. Let's keep checking it out, guys. Personally, my personal opinion: if you're gonna build the budget team, always start 84 plus. The 81s to 84s, they have they don't have much use anymore. You gotta start 84 plus. Anything below 84, guys. I'm telling you, like. You can get some use out of Aaron Jones, like I've been saying. He's been one of the budget beast guys I've listed before. Taylor Gabriel, obviously, speed kills. But don't start anywhere lower than that because I'm telling you, they're, they're super cheap. They're all similar prices. They're all within 20K. You're better off going with the higher ones. Let's start at the 86, 87 range. Let's start talking there because everything else is pretty boring. Team of the Weeks are flooding the block. That's why I have a set in Team of the Weeks. At least it filters it out just a little bit. But in my opinion, so 40K for an 86 is actually pretty cheap. If you guys don't remember, 86 used to be like 70, 65K. Now, it's unfilter out of Team of the Week real quick. Let's go to Veterans, see if there's a price drop or a price increase. 38K. So there's actually a price drop there. Guys, this is crazy cheap. The market's really, really low right now. 38K for an 86 overall. That's insane. Training is super cheap right now. Let's go see what 87s are. Let's go over to Legends. That's what I like to filter out. I used to, I usually filter by Legends on these lower ones. Makes it a little bit easier. Where are these 87s at? 87s. 47K for an 87. Wow. 
You guys know how cheap that is? Hold up, hold up. What are the 88s at? 68k for an 88. Remember when these were... Dude, do you guys remember? This is so this is weird, right? In years past, typically, the most feared card of the promo cards and converts training would go up in value. And everyone and that, that you'd gain coins. But this year it was weird because everyone came down in value and matched them. What are the 89s going for? Oh my god, Mel Blunt is 90k. Guys, if you ever wanted a full legend, now would be that time. Um Wow. Okay, Ken Houston's really cheap. You know, I, I knew things were cheap, but like I didn't know it was this cheap. This is quite concerning. Let's see what else we can go find. Um, wow. All right. So yeah, the market has officially died. Like, like died. Like it, it's dead. The market's dead. All right. So let's see what we can find for. Let's see if we can find some snags. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I imagine there's a few snags. It's just kind of hard because everything, nothing's filtered. Everything kind of like gang right now. But I'm looking. I'm looking. Cooper Cup 88. So I, I guess that's kind of why he hasn't gotten an upgrade in a while. But that's still no excuse. Kyle Juice check. Dalvin Cook. Yeah, I'm not seeing any snacks. Let's go to the 90s. I mean, no. Mm. Full Legends would definitely be nice. Guys, if you want a Full Legend, make sure you're scooping those up. Wow. It's crazy how the landscape of things can change. Because, you know, when you do market talk every week and you do draw Madden every day, you really follow prices. And when things like this happen, like, you remember every price. I remember every price that I've ever seen like, this year. So, I already know the trend. And this is crazy cheap. I remember buying John Elway for, like, 240k for training once. 135k for Elway. 150k for Willie Brown. Let's see. Lawrence Taylor, 178. Great buy, by the way. Kevin Moe was pretty good. But I do have the uh, newer center now, which is... Charles Frederick, he's insane. Definitely go scoop up Frederick, guys. I'm telling you, powered up, beast. Jim Brown, I really you know it sucks. Jim Brown was underappreciated. First price, he's a great running back. We never got to enjoy him because Saquon came out right with him. Champ Bailey, great guy, but Deion Sanders probably takes the cake on that one. I still never bought a receiver this year, guys, which is kind of interesting. I have not actually bought like a receiver to use on my team. That just says a lot about the state of this game in the run game. But with the way the market's looking, right? In my, my plan of attack is you probably want to start buying a little bit. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't spend your stack. I'd buy a few players you want. Like Lawrence, I buy long-term players. Like right now, Lawrence Taylor for 170. It's a snag. He might go down to 150, but you'll have Lawrence Taylor for the next few weeks for weekend league and everything. I think that Lawrence Taylor is a snag. Those Mel Blunt's, those cards, like for budgety player and type teams. Those are cards, those cards are snacks. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I would invest in those cards. Not invest. I would enjoy those cards, what I should say. Because it's not an investment. It's not like you're going to make tons of coins back on that, but I'd recommend it. Now, let's go check out the Redux cards. That's what that's what we're here for right now, right? Let's go to the Series Redux. Actually, let's go check the other filters out before I get out to the Redux. Let's go see Mud Heroes. Mud Heroes are super cheap too, guys. If you want a Mud Heroes, you can pick them up. I mean, I don't really think that they're the best cards to have. I'm not really a fan of most of them. But they are super cheap. So if you ever needed a Mud Hero card, now is also that time. All right. Yeah, 130. That's super cheap for Mud Heroes. Let's go check out the Redux now and go see the Redux landscape because that's what I'm pretty excited to check out, quite honestly. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And we got 143. So 143 for Philip Rivers. I'm hoping that is not the guy I get for my pack. You can obviously sell that pack, so I mean, it's not horrible. You still get coins, but not the greatest thing. So Travis Kelsey's down to 199. That is a great price for Travis Kelsey. I don't really know. Christian McCaffrey's pretty cheap too, but obviously he was already Redux. I don't know if Mark Ingram's a new Redux. It's going down. T.Y. Hilton's a new Redux. So is Chris Godwin. Pretty, pretty cheap. A lot of limited time cards are so affordable now. Like, it's crazy to see these cards at this price. And I've never saw these cards on the block before. So they were always limited time cards. Bo Jackson will retain his value for quite a while because he was a Mutt 10 Redux. They actually don't go down too much. Russell Wilson, crazy expensive. I don't know why everyone loves this Wilson card so much. Bad throw power. Bad passing. Decent speed. Bad throw under pressure. I don't know why people love that Wilson card. But I think Wilson's a great real life quarterback. I just don't think Madden gives him the love that he deserves when it comes to Madden, but I don't know why people are obsessed with his cards in Madden. His stats do not match up with what they should be. Alvin Kamara, 715k. Guys, if you don't think this is tempting, trust me, it takes everything in my power to not buy Alvin Kamara. His card's not even great. I just love Alvin Kamara. Michael Vick, it's weird. Some of these actually went up. Like, Michael Vick went up in value after the Reduxes came out. Rob Gronkowski is pretty cheap. I mean, yeah, I love Gronk and all, but his stats are kind of hard. To, it's a hard pass because of Kittle and the other tight ends in the game. I would love that Evan Ingram card too, although I don't think it's worth it over Kittle. Love you. I'm, uh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> I'm a little sick, guys. Excuse me. Love you on Bell. Great running back, too. But again, just like Kamara, it's not worth it. Which of these with the market down would I recommend buying? See, I'd recommend buying Dion, Kittle, 
Donald and Moss, like I've been saying, but they, they don't look like they went down. See what I'm saying? Like, if you compare them now, like, obviously I'm done with the Reduxes here, but if you look at the actual cards versus their Redux cards, it's quite crazy how similar in price they are, considering the Redux is supposed to be, like, the non-special one. But I guess people realize it doesn't matter. They're still technically... I mean, if you think about it, Redux is still limited time cards. They just have a quick sell. But they are just as rare, so I guess people are viewing it as such. Hopefully, the pack cards are a little good and people start pulling them more. If you look at it, look, so... Where is it? Where is it? So that's Rob Gronkowski, right? 800k. Limited time, 885. Le'Veon Belton, 800k. I actually don't see London Limited. This is a bad example. Let's see. Which ones can I show you guys? Like, Deion Sanders, 148, 199. See, there it's showing it. But yesterday, I'm telling you, these are not like this. This were, this were so much worse yesterday. But thank you guys for watching. That's about, that pretty much wraps up the video. We're pretty much near the end. Uh, I went over pretty much everything that you need to cover. Personally, what I recommend buying, what you need. Don't, don't invest. This isn't the time to just spend your coin stack and know everything will come back up. This is the time, excuse me, to buy what you want. Have fun with Madden. And the price of this cheap, you really can't go wrong, right? You buy some cards, whatever. You, you At max, it's, it's like hard for cards to come down much more, so you can't really lose too much more. So this is when I like to buy my cards. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, come join the family. It's not too late. Hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell. Comment down below. What's your, what's your move right now? Are you buying? Are you selling? Are you holding? Are you enjoying? Let me know what you're doing down below. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If we get 250 likes, I'll, I'll get a haircut, boys. I think that should be enough motivation if you guys do care enough about that. We get a lot of comments about it, so I figured. But thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.